As part of promoting peace, the United Nations mission in South Sudan on this, in collaboration with Ye River State Ministry of Information, Culture, Youth and Sports, organized a peace marathon under the theme Running for Peace. The event attracted over 200 participants, men and women. The first 12 finishers, six men and six women, were named peace champions and they received prizes. The race was divided into two categories, eight kilometers and four kilometers, which drew participants from different youth groups such as Ye Local Football Association, Ye Boxing Association, Ye Women Association, Border Border Association, Blockers Association, Scouts Association, and others. Solomon Musema, a runner from Ye Teaching Hospital, said that people from different tribes coming together and running together shows signs of peace, love, and unity. I feel very happy because uh, this is also a sign of, uh, of bringing peace to the people. Because we bring ourselves uh, different tribes together to participate in this run. This was that, uh, a, a kind of love and unity that you are showing. Onmus Civil Affairs Division Officer Ann Schutt emphasized that the road to peace might seem easy at first, that it would get harder and harder as it nears accomplishment as the players would probably get tired and frustrated along the way. Um, running for peace is also very symbolic for working towards peace because you need the same qualities such as determination, uh, the motivation to continue when you face challenges on the road, um, the support of your friends, from your family, your colleagues, that when you get lost from the track, you go back to your track. Um, cooperation with others, you need to be ready. So all those qualities uh, that you need for running also you need when you really are working towards uh, a peaceful society. And that's why we decided to organize this, uh, this event. The speaking at the event is Stephen Ladu Onesimo, Ye River State's Minister of Information, Culture, Youth and Sports, said, quote, this year we have to ensure that Calm and stability return to Ye. Uh, Ye had a lot of uh, problems uh, since uh, July 2016, and uh, now there is a turnout of uh, uh, ideas and uh, feelings and uh, desire for peace in Ye River State. And uh, people of Ye River State this year they really wanted to see that uh, Ye come to normal and uh, stability return to Ye. Artist from the Anataban group, which means I'm tired in Arabic, organized a day of painting murals on the streets of Ye town with pictures and messages that promote peace and denounce war such as no war, no more bloodshed and Anataban. Manasi Matiang, the coordinator initiative for Anataban group, adding that his group has already embarked on a strategy to visit different states in South Sudan to mobilize youth. We believe that uh, if we are able to engage the youth all around the country and speak with one voice, we'll sure do, we'll have a change in the way things are run in the country. A local artist from Ye Town, Beatrice Oba, said she is happy to do the painting for peace in her country. I like to do this because we need peace in our country. Yeah, that's why we are drawing this. We need peace in our country. Onmes, through the Civil Affairs Division, supported the activity to enable them to carry on with their activities and messaging.